Welcome to the channel about news from around the world. While you subscribe and like it, we're going to start. Old France under Macron has come a long way, impoverished, broke, and now denying itself even the things it used to have money for. Here's a good example. A number of major French cities have refused to welcome the Olympic flames simply because the pleasure is not free. Thus, in Lyon and Grenoble there will be no celebrations this time. However, richer cities such as Bordeaux have no problem paying for it. In towns such as Bordeaux, however, this has aroused the discontent of citizens who feel that the money could be used for more important, long-term municipal projects. And this position was shared by about a third of the French regions, which refused to pay for participation in the Olympic relay route. This eventually led to the exclusion of the cities of Lyon and Grenoble from the route. It should be made clear here that dabbling with the Olympic flame is not just not free, it is very expensive, €450,000 a day for staying in each individual city. Obviously, when you have a booming economy and everything is good, you'll make a lot more money on tourism alone, and the whole idea of the Olympic flame will pay off. But when the country is impoverished, like France under Macron, that's where the problems begin. So the question arises, is it worth spending such a huge amount of money on a one-off event that will leave no lasting effects on the city itself? What is the significance of the city's participation in the Olympic relay route and is it worth paying such a huge sum for it? The Olympic Games are of course an important and prestigious event that attracts attention from all over the world. However, French cities today count every euro cent and only spend it on projects that will bring long-term benefits to residents. In France, a crisis is brewing in the municipal swimming pool sector. Facilities are being closed due to financial difficulties and lack of funds for their maintenance. This situation is particularly worrying. And how can one expect to finance and support such a high-profile sporting event in such circumstances, when even swimming pools at municipal level cannot be supported? The situation with the closure of swimming pools does not only lead to limited access to sporting and health-saving activities for the population, but also serves as a kind of reflection of the financial problems the country is facing. Of course, the Olympic Games are a big international project, requiring huge expenditure and extensive organization. But couldn't these resources be better allocated to addressing pressing issues at the local level? Thank you for watching. If you're interested, subscribe and leave a comment.